Well, hello there. Sorry for the um, picture and the lighting. I just got up and um, I'm running late a little bit for that. Um, you know, I've been pretty busy. So, but here we go. As promised, every week we're doing the NFL season and college football season. Um, this is Sean Steeles. This is also, well, actually, this is, let me start off. This is Sean 1113. Which is Sean Steele's NFL and college picks. NFL Week 10, College Football Week 11. With that, let's do this crazy thing we call professional football. Last week, Week 9, I was 7 and 6. Now I have a 77 and 53 record, 59.2%. And in college, I was one and three. I am now 32 and 23 with a 58.2%. And I'm just writing it down because I almost forgot about that. So sorry about that. <clears throat> in any case, I'm going to go with the college first for the five games this week. I'm thinking it's going to be almost intriguing. With playoff implications are now on the line, pretty much down the road. Alabama and Mississippi State, I'm going to pick Alabama. Memphis and Houston. Memphis ranked number 13. I think it's a trap game for Memphis. I think Houston will win that game. Oregon and Stanford, I'm going to pick Stanford. Washington State and UCLA, I'm going to pick UCLA. And then the game of the week, in my opinion, Oklahoma and Baylor. I always thought Baylor was overrated in a sense in the Big 12. And I thought Oklahoma was the same thing. But um, it's a it's a very tough pick, so I'm going to pick Oklahoma here over Baylor. Now for my 11 picks. <coughs> Excuse me. My NFL picks week 10. 14 games in the docket. Here we go. Buffalo and the New York Jets. I'm going to pick Buffalo. Detroit and Green Bay, I'm going to pick Green Bay. Dallas and Tampa Bay, I'm going to actually pick Tampa Bay here. Carolina and Tennessee, I'm going to pick Carolina. Even though Tennessee is playing a little better. And they might take the AFC South with Andrew Luck out. Who knows? I know one from the AFC South is going I mean, the AFC South is probably the worst division this year. But it's now up for grabs with, with the luck injury, but also the fact that if half the pick doesn't play well or manage the game well, they might lose the division. I think there's certainly going to be one one from that division that went that goes to the playoffs. But um, like I said, I'm going to pick Carolina for Tennessee, Chicago or St. Louis. I'm going to pick St. Louis. They're a different team at home. Watching the New Orleans, that's a 50-50 pick. I'm going to pick New Orleans, though. So. Even though I do not do not trust New Orleans' as bad defense. And if, I, and if I'm a Redskins fan, I would trust a little bit more of the Washington defense if it came down to that. But um, I'm going to pick New Orleans here. Miami and Philadelphia, I'll get to that in a little bit. Because one of the people, subscribers named Wade Wilson, it's a Philadelphia fan. I'm going to pick Miami. And I know he's going to pick Philadelphia. But if my team doesn't lose that game, um, I was thinking about doing the Philadelphia Eagle fight song if the Eagles win. So, Wade, if you want to comment back, wait so the Wade Wilson, if you want to comment back on that, or any Philadelphia Eagle fan about that, if that's Good enough for you? Let me know in the comment section. Moving on, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. I'm going to pick Pittsburgh. Because let's face it, Antonio Brown saved, saved D'Angelo Williams. Saved, saved that team. I mean, saved the, the game against Oakland. They really did. did. I'm going to pick Pittsburgh. If Jones manages the game well, give it to Williams. Throw the Antonio Brown, Brian let him do their thing. 
And if their defense play enough, they'll kill one. <coughs> but it wouldn't shock me if Cleveland won, end up winning. Winning. Although I would say this, McCown is quarterback. They have a better chance of winning. If McC- I like to say if Josh McCown is healthy, they have a better chance to win the game. But I'm pick Pittsburgh here. Jacksonville and Baltimore. I'm gonna pick Baltimore. Minnesota, Oakland. I'm gonna pick Oakland here. New England, New York Giants. I am praying. I am hoping. New England loses this game to the Giants. In my heart, I want it to happen. But the way New England is playing right now, even on the road, I'm going to have to pick New England. I think New England should win the game. I'm hoping New England doesn't win the game. But at the same time, nevertheless, I'm going to pick New England here, even though I would love to see the Giants win. But, like I said, my pick is going to be New England here. Kansas City and Denver. I'm going to pick Denver. Arizona and Seattle. Oh, that's – well, first of all, the Monday night game. Houston and Cincinnati. I'm going to pick Cincinnati. And then the game of the week, Arizona and Seattle. This is a big test for Arizona. If they can go on Seattle and win, they're going to be the real deal. They are very capable of winning Seattle. Seattle is Seattle at home on that Sunday night. That's a hell of a game. I'm going to pick Seattle until proven. Although it wouldn't, would it shock me Arizona won? No. But it's a big game in the AFC. Whoever wins this game has the inside track in the NFC West, in my opinion. It's between Arizona and Seattle. Seattle from here on out, in my opinion, right now. Unless somebody else wants to come back. Like St. Louis might go on a hot streak. But I'm going to pick Seattle over Arizona. And when Seattle and when Arizona, Seattle, Arizona play, I think it's going to be Arizona. So with that in mind, that's my pick, my college picks, and my, you know, my college picks and my NFL picks. And um, like I said, leave me a like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy watching the games, everyone.